Welcome back. Game day might be different this year, but one thing is still the same. It's all about the food. Our next <laughs> guest opened two <coughs> restaurants during a pandemic. What? And after six cookbooks. Yeah, she's ambitious. Chef Adrian Calvo wrote this one. It's a, one of her top 100 recipes, and it's called The A-List. So throw on your Packers jersey. Celebrity Chef Adrian is here, and she's going to share her winning recipe. It is Nashville hot chicken chicken wings plus buttermilk rat. Yum. Good morning. Good to see you, Chef. Good to see you guys. Thanks for having me back. I had such a blast with you all last year. <laughs> we loved ready? it. We loved having you here. It sounds like you've been super busy. So busy, um, but you know what? I get a little bit busier this time of year because I'm tailgating, creating recipes for this time of year. Are you guys ready for some chicken wings maximum flavor style? Oh yeah. Absolutely, hit us. Cool. All right, we start off with a nice free range chicken wing. They have just so much flavor, about half a cup of buttermilk. And right into this marinade, we put Nashville um, hot seasoning right into this mix. We're going to put a little bit of ranch as well to fortify that delicious ranch flavor. And here's the secret. Pickle juice. Okay. Oh. Do you guys use any pickle juice in any marinade? I don't think so. I, I've never seen it. It adds acidity, a really nice little back note, right? But it also is a tenderizer. It helps with the brine. We mix oh. this up. So very simple marinade. If you have the time, put this in the refrigerator for 24 hours. So the day before game day, uh, when you're ready, a bowl with flour, okay? And then we get a nice Dutch oven with like canola oil or Crisco if you'd like. We submerge our chicken wings and we cook them for 12 minutes at about 325 degrees. Okay. Now to make your Nashville hot dip, we get some Crisco and that same seasoning, that Nashville hot seasoning. And so right out of the fryer, we give them a nice dip. That's the secret to Nashville hot chicken is this dip right here. Okay. Yum. So, yeah. When, is that Nashville seasoning? Is Do you buy it and it says that? Or is this something that people know of already? I hadn't heard of it. Yes, you buy it just like that. But if you wanted to make your own, you get paprika, cayenne pepper, garlic salt, onion powder, and just a tad of granulated sugar. Oh, okay. got it. Okay, and that's what gives it its zing, huh? Exactly, that cayenne pepper is the that zing, but it's not just heat. There's a ton of flavor in there from the garlic powder and that onion powder. Okay, so now we're going to make our pickle ranch. We get a little bit Ooh. of mayo. Yes, a little bit of that pickle juice. It goes a long way. Now, Do you use I the seeds with the pickle juice or just the juice? Just the juice. And now we chopped up about a tablespoon of baby baby pickles. You can use cornet chunks or you can use just normal dill spears. We mix that up and then we buy a little bit of this ranch seasoning. Okay, I like to add about a teaspoon. Okay, we mix this up. Now another chef hack here is that you don't just make for the party, for the tailgate party. I love this pickle ranch so much that I'll make a lot of it, store it, because it's great with vegetables. It's great as a potato chip dip as well. Mm. Now, fresh dill. This takes this over the top. You know, one thing I've found about dill, when you buy dill, it, you know, some people grow it, but when you buy it at the store, I can't get over how much you get in a bunch. It's like it would last you a month. It does, it does. And you know what's also wonderful about dill is that it does last quite a bit, but you can make a couple of different marinades. Uh, use it for, let's say you're roasting whole chicken, or if you're gonna make a nice roasted fish in the oven, it makes a beautiful butter sauce as well. So now we take our wings that have this beautiful Nashville hot dip already on them, and now we dollop this delicious ranch all over. And mm. you're getting like, wow, what is this? You have the heat from the actual dip and you have the cooling ranch, not just from the ranch, but from the pickle and the dill. Oh, does that now sound good? Sounds so good. Yeah, and I wanted to mention too, our technical producer put all the recipes that the chef just talked about on our website, themorningblend.com. So you've gone kind of quickly through those, but we have them all on our website. Mm -hmm. Ooh, look at you. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, that looks so good. 
Now I mean, I'm when you did this, it's incredible. I mean, people are going to be like, how did you make this? I mean, you have your average wings and then you have your maximum flavor wings. See, now <laughs> I mean, that does that looks like the kind of wing you would get at a fancy, fancy restaurant, which we know. I mean, you were crazy enough to open two restaurants during this pandemic. How is it going? Oh, my gosh, it's going wonderful. Thank the good Lord. I have to say uh, it's funny when people say you open two restaurants, you're crazy enough. And I'm like, yeah, I guess it's pretty crazy. But the wonderful thing is that what, you know, what kept me, I guess, focused is that people love food and they love to gather. And no matter what, at the end of the day, pandemic or not, people just love the idea of enjoying a great meal at the end of the day or celebrating with a great meal. And that just kept me hopeful. Oh, that's awesome. Oh. I am mad at you, though, for making those and not being in our studio. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Cruel. That was so great. Thank you so much. And I, I just noticed, too, that your hair matches the wings, which is beautiful. Thank you so much. Good to see you, Chef Adrian. You can find her book, The A-List, on Amazon, Barnes & Noble, and her website. It is chefadrians.com. And again, the re recipes are all on our website, too.